You say in your book, there is no history of the black man settling down with one woman right. and never desiring to have another before right. slavery, during slavery, or after slavery. That's the black the man truth. has never been recorded to have just one woman. Right. Well, I think there's some actual facts we can look at on that. Monogamy has failed for the white man in America. But this is like saying it's okay. It's not me saying it's okay. This is how they're living. I'm giving you the history of what their life is. Black men haven't been waiting on me to tell them it's all right to have more than one woman. Neither have white men. <laughs> you know, this is just what they do. Uh, I'm not talking about fornication and adultery. I'm not talking about one night stands and running around rampant with other women. That's not the kinds of when I say more than one woman relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean that before we came to America, our men had more than one wife and family. And we were satisfied with it because we had not met the monogamy idea. We had not met the American white woman who, you know, insists on certain kinds of values in her man. Uh, we had not uh, learned envy and jealousy. Mm. All right. After coming here, those kinds of ideas were bred into us because of society and uh, the mores that the Americans made up here. And so then we started to have problems with that. But uh, I think that since it is apparent that most of them, not all of them, it's certainly up to the man, do love more than one woman. Many, I got tons of mail. A lot of black men write and tell me that they have had two women for 5, 10, 15, and 20 years, and they can't even get the women to speak to each other. Sometimes they have two families, would I wanna, two sets of children. But Sharers, would I want to talk to a woman who's sharing perhaps the bed and, and the, the money and the social life with, with who I would deem as my man? If you want to deal in reality and if you are not insecure and if you don't think that that robs you of something, you would want to know them. If he loves her, you certainly should want to know her. There are a lot of black women out there who say, Oh, I know they're mad about that idea. I understand, you know. <laughs> that and would never hold easy. water. Wait a minute, that's not easy. And that's a frightening thought to most of it, most of us. And I don't like that. I'm not for that. I'm in agreement with everybody else. Our men ought to just have one woman. But that is not the reality. I'm trying to get us to deal with some reality for a change. Stop dealing with fantasy. Stop dealing with television. Stop dealing with imagination of how we wish things were. Let's deal with them how they are, what it is, present tense. And but if because we deal that's with that, happening then, doesn't mean I have to like that or no, want that to accept that. No, that means that you can live in hell. That means you can live in, the, in doubt. That means that you can always be checking on your man. That means that you can be insecure and uh, be, you know, tearful. And that means you can be disappointed when you find out the real truth. And you don't want to have that in your life. None of us do. But in order not to have that, then we have to deal with some reality and recognize that men are not limited in the way that women are. Men are able to love more than one woman. I'm not talking about, as I said, just a round, random sexual relationship of fornication and adultery and all of that. I mean that there are many black men who have children by more than one woman. What is to become of those children? They need their father. But if you would cheat on me or walk out well, on me. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. We have to get into definition. Who told us that was cheating? Where did that idea come from that that's cheating? And I'm not saying that a lot of men are, are not just running around. I'm not talking about that. Mm -hmm. But if a woman finds out that her man has been with a woman while she's been with him for three or four or five years, that's a serious commitment and relationship. And if it hasn't taken anything from me, if I'm not going short of anything, and if this is what he thinks his responsibility is, then what kind of hell are you going to go through to prevent that? Since we cannot stop him, we have not been successful. The white woman has not been successful in stopping the white man from having another woman. They call them a mistress. We pick up a lot of that terminology. But a man who has two women, that's not necessarily a mistress. That's just his other woman. Now, we got two choices. We can be the woman or the other woman. You not, we don't have it, those two. Now, I know we don't like that. I don't like that. You know? But that's the reality of our life at some point. Now, it's up to the man. But Every about, man doesn't want to women, about, but those that do, they're going to do it. What about our morals and our religion? Whose religion? Whose morals? Not our religion, because we're not practicing the religion of black people anymore. That was taken from us. We don't have our morals anymore. That was taken from us. So whose idea are you representing when you stand up for those values? Not ours. Somebody else's. Some other nationality. And it may work for them. But it doesn't work for us. It hasn't worked for anybody, really, but nobody wants to deal with the truth. Monogamy was only created because of the economics of it.